Hi, my name is Jennifer, and I'm caretaker for the North American River Otter Habitat here at the Museum of Discovery and Science. Each day, I start my mornings by greeting our family of rescued river otters and making sure they're all happy and healthy. Then, the animal care team and I spend time preparing a delicious breakfast of sustainable fish and nutrients. Fish is their favorite food, but they also consume various amphibians, freshwater clams, mussels, snails, small turtles, and crayfish. After breakfast, each of the otters goes through a special training session where we ask them to perform various tasks so we can do a quick wellness check. These include simple things like looking side to side, rolling over onto their backs, and showing us their paws. This important step gives us a chance to closely examine the health and well-being of each member of our river otter family. Then, once their morning routine is complete, it's playtime. As part of our animal care program, we provide our otters with enrichment activities. Today, we prepared a fun pool filled with ice and frozen fish. North American river otters have chip-resistant teeth that are perfectly adapted for crushing shellfish and hard shells, so they love crunching those tasty treats. MODS connects people with inspiring science, including the animals in our care. Our river otters are true ambassadors for their species of large mammals. River otters, like the ones here at MODS, typically live eight or nine years in the wild, but with the proper care in special habitats just like this one, they can live as long as 20 to 25 years. Full-grown adults can be anywhere from two to four feet in length and sport a thick water-repellent coat of fur. North American river otters are such great predators of fish and shellfish because they're built for water hunting. These sleek swimmers have fully webbed feet, short ears with necks that are the same diameter as their heads, and short, powerful legs. River otters' tails, which are used to navigate the water, are a full one-third of their whole body length. All of these qualities give North American river otters a streamlined profile in the water and make them some of the most graceful semi-aquatic mammals on the planet. Indigenous to our area, otters prefer Florida's natural ecoscapes like rivers, lakes, and the swampy land of the Everglades. North American river otters build their dens in burrows along these riverbanks and waterways. Sometimes they have multiple entrances above and below the water. These entrances often lead to a nest chamber lined with leaves, grass, moss, bark, and hair. And it is in these dens that they raise their families. But the North American river otter environment is in danger. Changes in the environment from human construction and real estate development are greatly impacting regions where otters normally live undisturbed. Due to their size, otters require large plots of undeveloped land to maintain healthy populations. Now more than ever, it is important for all of us to live responsibly and make sure that there is always room for these wonderful creatures to thrive. Otters are resilient animals, especially considering their dependence upon healthy watersheds and fish stock to survive and thrive. You can do your part to protect the animals, such as dispose of trash properly, pick up trash you see, use non-toxic cleaning chemicals, and use reusable plastics and water bottles. To learn more about living responsibly and more environmentally conscious, visit our website at mods.org and get involved in your community. Be sure to swim by MODS to check out the North American River Otter Habitat, Otters at Play. Thanks for watching. See you soon.